Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to remove the sedan car roof lining out of the car completely. So on the wagon models and the hatchbacks, you're gonna be taking it out through the rear door there. And ute models, they just kind of drop down and they just come out quite easily. But sedans, they get more trickier. So there's a couple of options to take out a sedan headliner. First one would be taking it out through the front passenger door. Or another option would be the rear driver's side door. So a couple of different uh, makes and models will depend on which one you do. So with the Ford Falcon FG and the Holden VE VF WM Caprices, because they've got a large center console here, and just the way the headliner board's kind of shaped, it kind of favors to take it out through the rear uh, driver's side door here. And um, that becomes quite easy to do those cars. Yeah, it gets a bit difficult doing it from the front section here. But majority of the, all the other cars, you'll be taking it out through the front passenger door here. So there are your two options. And basically to get to that stage, you will wanna go around and take off all the plastics needed for the headlining board to be removed and dropped down. I would recline the two front seats completely and then push them back on their uh, tracks. Lay a blanket down just to protect the interior because as you're flexing the headliner board out, you don't wanna be dragging it along any interior plastic parts, otherwise you might scratch it, leave a mark there. So a couple of options, uh, or a couple of things to keep in mind there when you're flexing it out is it will touch these areas. So that's why the blanket kind of helps. And uh, around the seal here is where you want to kind of keep your hand majority of the time just to kind of like guide it out as it comes out so you're not um, dragging it along the uh, seal there. So it's kind of like you're keeping a bit of a flex and a bit of bow there. Sometimes you may get the headliner where they're a bit stiff and they start to maybe give a like a tiny bit of a split. Uh, don't stress too much because you can repair those little uh, imperfections. Just a bit of like maybe a bit of cloth tape just to reinforce what's happened there. Or you can go to the extent of refiberglassing, but that's not needed. You can just do a bit of cloth tape, wrap it around. The brand new material that wraps around reinforces it again and it's good to go. And when you go to put them back in, because I recommend overlapping the material around all the edges and the manufacturer basically just cuts it to the edge. Uh, with them cutting it straight to the edge, you're gonna have that razor sharp uh, edge of the board that you gotta avoid basically when you remove the headliner board out the car, it dragging on the interior. But the one that we put in, we actually overlap the materials so it's all padded there. So it makes it easier to reinstall because as you're put, sliding it back in, uh, you pretty much um, got that padded edge. So it just helps with basically not getting it scraping on the interior. So that's pretty much it guys. I'll whack the GoPro on. I'll show you a few footage about us taking it out through the um, front passenger door and also the rear driver's side door. And some cars get more difficult as well, like the Volkswagen Jetta. They're all reinforced at the back with a, a massive plastic uh, kind of like a, a bracket behind the headliner that's glued to the headliner board so there's hardly no flex to the headliner so you just got to slowly swivel that out the, the uh, front passenger door um, but yeah that's about it so whack that uh, GoPro on now you guys can see what's involved follow along and um, yeah if you like the video just give it a thumbs up maybe leave your comment below and subscribe and we'll see you here on the next video all right let's get stuck into it